While everyone is distracted over Bill C-38, which is of course the largest, most aggressive bill in Canadian history, the contents of which are still being gone over and interpreted by various experts, and which I'm sure I'll be going into in the near future. While everyone is distracted by this, a smaller bill, which is a private member's bill, Bill C-309, is being passed, or will be passed, quickly. A private member's bill means that it can be passed quite quickly without the amount of time to go over all of the provisions as a bill normally would require. Normally, private members' bills are not passed. However, experts are predicting that this bill will be passed because of the conservative backing behind it. And of course, Harper has his majority government, and they do tend to all vote the way that he instructs. And this is not a bill that would tend, perhaps tend to offend uh, his conservative base. This is an attack on protesters, or really anyone who may find themselves at a protest. A lot of the wording, the wording I've noticed uh, is, is, is being reported is that rioters wearing masks can face uh, prison time. However, in actual fact, it's any protest that is declared an unlawful assembly. The G20 in Toronto, a major political event, of which $1 billion of taxpayers' dollars was spent in security because it was so big, at one point was declared an unlawful assembly, and protesters were arrested. So any public protest, even a very expected one for a major political event, can be declared an unlawful assembly. From what I understand, protesters are supposed to be, be given a chance to leave. If they're not, they can be arrested. Supposedly. Now, with this bill, if you are wearing a mask, not only can you be arrested, you can spend, at, pr at the present time, it was five years in jail, but they've just increased it to ten years. Ten years in prison for wearing a mask at a protest, which is declared to be an unlawful assembly. For wearing a mask. Do you know how much it costs to keep one person in prison for a year? Never mind ten years. As it is with these criminal bills being put through, a person who is caught smoking marijuana on someone else's property could spend as much as 10 or 15 years in prison. Now, does that account for, I mean, does, does that include um, apartment buildings? If someone smoked pot in an apartment building, could spend 15 years in prison? Now, besides the fact that that teaches the person to be a criminal by spending time with criminals in a confined space, besides the fact that, that is a horrendous thing to do to an individual who has done nothing wrong to anyone else, it is also a huge <laughs> amount of taxpayers' dollars spent on this, which is just outrageous. It's outrageous no matter how you look at it. I myself have never done drugs, but I am outraged that <sighs> it's someone who is doing nothing to hurt anyone could be, be put in prison like that over something so small. And even smaller than that is this, wearing a mask at a protest could have you spend 10 years in prison. What about the winter time and people who wear masks to stay warm? What happens in that case, huh? What about uh, Muslim women and people for religious reasons cover their faces? Hmm? What about them? How well thought out has this been anyway? But this has got to be the most obviously fascist thing Harper has yet done. How long will it be until you need a permit to have a protest? Of course, that would imply that then not everyone could even protest in the first place. And if you do, who you are, where you live, etc., all your personal information would probably be collected. And then uh, everyone who's involved, of course, in helping you arrange it, of course, would all be spied on. And the whole thing would be managed, essentially, through whatever, whichever officers would be doing this policemen or CSIS agents or who knows. I mean, Harper wanted to appoint government inspectors, quote unquote, to watch, to uh, investigate people's personal information on uh, their computers. 
That bill hasn't gone through yet for spying on people's internet activities without the need for a warrant. That, that'll cause so much controversy even in the Conservative Party that that bill did not go through. But Harper was pushing for that, not just for RCMP, understand, or CSIS, but for, quote-unquote, government inspectors to be able to watch people's online activities and to go into their computers to find out their personal information. Now, what does that mean, government inspectors? Well, who is the government? Harper's far-right, so-called conservative, really, reformist party. In other words, <laughs> I was going to say Tory uh, inspectors, but really reformist in in inspectors, basically. And how likely would it be for someone to get a government job if they were not conservative-leaning, by the way? And, of course, by conservative-leaning, you, you know, that means just Harper's conservative group, the far-right reformist conservatives. Um, which is what they really should be called, to be honest. The reformist conservatives, not the conservatives. Anyone, young or old, wearing a mask. I wonder, would they arrest a baby? Hmm? Would they arrest a two-year-old? I don't know. I'm not sure. Again, there was another bill that he was going to pass. Bill C-4, which was the, uh, which was the human smuggling bill. That would have had children imprisoned. Not just adults, refugees, but their elderly, their children, and their babies in prison for a minimum of two years. But Olivia Chow fought so passionately against that in Parliament that it was dropped the second time Harper tried to pass that, which was just recently. Now I hear that's being brought up again. I'll have to look into that. Um, from what I hear, he's, he's increased the age to 16. So refugees 16, under 16 won't be in prison. But what does that mean about their mothers? Their mothers get to leave? So that'll just split up families? Some of the family will be in prison for two years? And some of them will be left? Why, why, why not just sh ship them away, you know? Either let, help them, you know, help the refugees or send them back. What happened to that? Why are we now just imprisoning everyone? Even the Republicans in the United States are admitting now to the mistakes that they have made with the prison system there. By imprisoning so much of the population, not only is that a huge expense, but you're teaching so many more people to be criminals by imprisoning them with other criminals. And yet, that's where Harper's taking us in that direction. By, by for, creating all these new harsher laws to force, again, the provinces to fit the expense. This is the provinces are going to be forced to increase taxes on us for these things, such as medical care. Um, the, the provinces are going to have to build all these new prisons for all these new sentences that are going to be happening with these harsher laws, such as uh, 10 years in prison for wearing a mask at a protest. Is this the Canada that you once knew?